So for number seven, um, we do want to draw these curves and see uh, the area that's enclosed between them uh, and then integrate it. So let's, let's begin by drawing it out. Um, the first curve, we're here. The first curve, x minus 2 squared, it's just a quadratic that's been shifted um, two units to the right. So um, let's draw a few points here. So it begins at 0, 0, and then we go when we have 1 over here and 1. It kind of looks like this. This is our curve y is equal to x minus 2 squared. Now let's draw our other line, which is y is equal to x. So it is just a straight line that passes through the origin, and it goes, it goes like this. So we can clearly see that the area um, enclosed between these functions is this area over here. We are going to choose to integrate it with respect to x because when I draw my rectangles here, which, you know, when we're thinking of areas, we're really just summing up these infinitely small rectangles, right, with, as we've seen with the Riemann sums. Um, and we can see that all these rectangles do have the same curve as the upper boundary and a, the same curve as the lower boundary, right? If I were to draw my horizontal rectangles, that would not be the case because at some points we would have the pink curve as both the upper and the lower, and for some other points we would have the pink curve as the upper boundary and then the um, green, green line as the lower boundary. So we do like to express it as a single integral, um, so we, we will do integrate it with respect to x. And we must remember that whenever we're integrating, we're really summing up these rectangles, right? So um, the height is just the upper function minus the lower function. So this is just um, x minus x minus 2 squared, right? And then the width, the width, this is just dx for a little piece of our x-axis. We cannot forget um, the meaning of this, right? Because it's, it's very easy to just set up the integral and not actually visualize what it is that you're doing. Um, so let's set up this. Actually, before we set up the integral, we don't, we don't have the bounds, right? Um, we can't tell where they intersect. Um, so we do have to set these equations equal to each other so that we can find out this point over here and this point over here where they intersect. Um, so to find this, let's just set the, these equations equal to each other is equal to x. Now we'll have to expand the left side, so that is x squared um, minus 4x plus 4 is equal to x. So we'll bring everything over to the left side. x squared minus 5x plus 4 is equal to 0. Now thankfully this does factor very nicely into minus 4, um, minus minus 4 and minus 1, right? Because when we multiply them, we get plus 4, and then when we add them, we get minus 5. So this is x minus 4 times x minus 1 is equal to 0. So we can very clearly see here that our bounds are x equals 4 and x equals 1. So let's set this up. This is the integral from 1 to 4 of the upper curve, right, which is just x, minus the lower curve, which is um, x minus 2 squared. And I'm, I'm actually going to write this in the expanded form that we've done already. So minus x squared minus 4x plus 4, all this times dx. So let's clean this up a little bit before we integrate. This is from 1 to 4. Um, minus x squared, and then minus minus 4x plus the x that's outside is plus 5x, and then minus 4. Minus 4, all this, times dx. So when we're integrating, we're just doing um, a very simple reverse power rule. So that is minus x cubed divided by 3 um, plus 5x squared divided by 2, and then that is minus 4x, 
all this from one to four. So all that's left for us to do is to um, compute our boundaries. So let's compute the upper boundary. So this is minus um, x cubed, so that is four cubed, which is 64 over three, and then plus five times four times four, which is um, five times 16, right? 80 divided by two um, plus 40. And then we have uh, minus four times four, so minus 16. And let me just double check that my math is right. Yeah. And then minus the lower boundary, which is, let's apply one then, minus, um, minus, minus one over three, so plus one over three, and then minus five over two, and then minus, minus four. Sorry, um, yeah, minus minus four, which is plus four. So when we uh, when we put all of this together, let's put it in our calculator. Um, plus one over three plus forty minus sixteen plus four, and that gives us seven. Um, which this says that my math is somehow wrong. The answer key. Let me see how I messed it up. Hmm. Plus 40, uh, minus 16, plus one third, plus minus five over two, plus four. Yeah, let me just double check my math for a minute. Uh, plus 40, minus 16, plus one over three, um, minus five over two, plus four. Oh yeah, so I just plugged it into my calculator wrong. So this is equal to nine, over two, yeah. Yeah, we do calculus and we forget how to do basic arithmetic. <laughs> it happens. So yeah, this is the area um, that is between these curves. And I hope it was clear for you guys how we were able to um, decide whether to integrate it uh, with respect to X or Y and then get at the answer.